Alright, hey there guys, how's it going? Tails First here with another solar experiment. Today we're going to be running this 650 watt coffee maker. It's a four cup coffee maker um, off of this 400 watt inverter, which may not make a lot of sense, but it has an 800 watt peak. And I wanted to test whether or not there's just enough wiggle room to run this coffee maker to make the pot of coffee and then turn it back off. I've seen a few people have good luck with that. Um, with these inverters. So let's go ahead and see. Right now we're using the Husky inverter over here to run the lights in here. And we're currently running at 14.5 volts there. So that's a full charge on the solar panel system. We have 200 watts of solar on the roof. Um, so let's go ahead and turn on this inverter. All right, so it's running. And it's gotta warm that fan up. It's really cold outside. I think it's about 20 degrees outside right now. All right, so. Here we have our watt meter, right here, our kilowatt meter, you want to call it. Uh, this is the kilowatt EZ for those playing along at home. Um, let's go ahead and get started. So we have our coffee maker here. Um, let's switch it to watts. All right, so we are pulling point, oh, point something, point something watts. Kind of on off a little bit there, but it's going. All right, so let's go ahead and get started. Let's go ahead and put the water in. We've already got the water in the coffee pot. This is four cups of water. So that's going in now. All right, the fan on the inverter has fixed itself. There we go, the water's in. All right, let's go ahead and put our coffee grounds in there. We're gonna put four scoops into this thing, I believe for four cups of coffee. You guys can do it however you want. This is how I'm gonna do it today. One, two, three, four. Yeah, that's enough. That's enough. All right, cool. So let's go ahead and close this. So this is probably gonna be like a regular cup of coffee instead of a strong like I usually like. So it's still running at 0.5 watts there. I've got my coffee cup with a little bit of milk in there so that when it's ready, it's ready. All right, let's go ahead and get going. Now this coffee maker, I believe takes seven minutes to make um, four cups of coffee um, on regular power. So let's go ahead and see what happens here. We've got one minute on the clock already, so we'll just go off of that. So here we go. All right, so we are now pulling 506. It's going down further. 589, 583, so it's lowering. All right, so while it's doing that, I'm gonna check the wires over here. No heat there. We are way down at 11.9 volts on the batteries, which is whatever. It's under load. We are now at 441, still dropping. Still dropping. It is starting to make coffee though. So 436 watts is not too bad. It's a little lower than it should be though. I don't know why that is. We are running through an extension cord down there, but it's only 600 watts of possible power. So that's not too bad. But we are definitely pushing the, uh, the limits of this, uh, this inverter. Now this inverter, while this is brewing, it is making some coffee over here. It is starting to come down there. And it is percolating or whatever you want to call that. We are at one minute. But this inverter is wired up to both of these deep cycle batteries here. So we've got one hookup here and one hookup over there. Both of those wires, set of wires are going to the inverter down there. Wires are still not getting hot. Connections are not getting hot either. Let's see how the, the inverter is doing. Inverter is getting a little warm back there. The, heat, the air coming out the back of it from the fan is getting a little warm. We are now at 420 watts. Make your jokes now. It is making coffee though. It does seem to be going a little slower than usual. Uh oh. Why won't it close? There we go. So I do smell coffee brewing. 
We are just about at two minutes now. We are, uh, the clock down here says two, uh, 1202. When it hits 1203, that'll be exactly two, uh, two minutes there. So we are still pulling 420 or so watts. Definitely seems like it's gonna take a little while longer to make coffee on this maker um, using solar. But it seems like the solar, the coffee maker is, uh, or sorry, the inverter is holding up. And of course we also have that other inverter over there pushing as well for the lighting in here because it was pretty darn dark in here. I tried to use my uh, Ryobi lights, but they're just not bright enough. This camera doesn't have very good low light uh, sensitivity for some reason. So that clock definitely should have gone to 12.03 now. I'm wondering if this is sensitive to the modified sine wave for this clock here. I feel like that should have already gone up to 12.03 by now. We've definitely been recording for long enough. So I don't think I'll be able to use the clock on this, unfortunately. All right, so we are now, I'm gonna start watching the clock on the, uh, on the camera here, it looks like we are now at six minutes. I think I took about two to three minutes to explain what we were doing here. Um, yeah, that clock is definitely not going forward. It's been it's definitely been a minute now, and that has not moved forward yet. Battery voltage on the solar panel system was at full charge. It is now at eleven point seven volts, so it is definitely dropping. Um, inverted, let's see how warm that's getting. Are the wires getting warm? No heat coming off of the wires. All wires are cool to the touch. Inverter is definitely putting on some heat right now. No smells or anything other than the coffee. So that inverter is definitely getting toasty. All right, we are still at, well, we're dropping voltage again, or voltage again. We are now, or that's watts, sorry. That's 417 watts on the uh, kilowatt meter there. We are now two minutes ahead of when I said it was at 12.02, and it just turned over to 12.03. So I think the, uh, actually, I wonder. So there's VA. Well, it looks like the hertz are still on. I think how these things work, the clocks on these work, is by uh, get, going in sync with how many hertz are coming out of the uh, the wall socket, um, the cycles. This is definitely putting out 60 hertz. Let's see what the voltage is at. It's pulling 4.3 amps at 120 volts, I think. Oh, it's down at 96 volts. All right, so that inverter is... is uh, it's really pushing. It's really pushing it. It's only at 96 volts right now. That's not exactly ideal. That's voltage drop for sure. Are these wires getting warm? Let's check the, uh, the 120 volt line. No heat. No heat there. So 96 volts. Let's see what our... There's our watts again. 414. Coffee maker is still brewing. So I think we started making coffee at around four minutes. So we are now at, well, four minutes. We are at eight minutes on the video now. So we are at four minutes of making coffee and it's just about to hit two cups of coffee there on the side. I don't know if you guys can even see that because of the lighting in here, but the uh, here's the two cup make uh, mark there and then here's where it's currently at. So it's just about to hit two cups there and we're just, uh, on, on the wall outlet it would make, uh, two cups of coffee in about five minutes. And then the last couple of cups of coffee would uh, go a little bit quicker. Uh-oh, we got a warning. It's beeping. So I wouldn't be surprised if that's because it's overheating. So I'm gonna turn that off. All right, so it's recovering now. So that, that's from a full, two fully charged lead acid batteries here. And it dropped all the way down to 11.7. So I don't think that was a low voltage alarm. I'm pretty sure that was a heat alarm. So that means that this coffee maker is pulling too much for that inverter. 
Oh yeah, it's starting to cool down already. That was really quick. So it can, it can hold that load. I think we were on that for, so it was four minutes. We are now at 10 minutes. So that's four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. So that's six minutes there. There we go. So we got six minutes of runtime at about 400, probably 500 or so um, watts worth of load. Um, the inverter did hold it. So if you have a load that only you know takes five to 600 watts, it can definitely do it for a short amount of time. Uh, about five or so minutes, and then it'll it'll get into a overheat. Now remember, it is 20 degrees Fahrenheit out right now, um, and it's pretty pretty cold in here. I don't have my uh, my propane heater running right now, um, so it's it's pretty cold in here, um, which also means that's probably why. Um, focus, focus, stupid thing. Focus, whatever. You guys have to deal with that. Let me see here. There's nothing I can do about that. I love cameras. <laughs> oh man, I'm I'm touching all over the screen. I ain't doing anything. Anyway, so the uh, the inverter can handle a um, an overload condition for a short while, but not for too long. Unfortunately, I was really hoping that I'd be able to use this coffee maker because um, making a single cup of coffee um, is not exactly ideal. Um, I'm probably gonna take this thing in and make it finish brewing this coffee, and then I'm gonna start drinking it. In fact, I think I have enough here that I could just pour a cup right now. There we go. All right, let's take and see what that tastes like. Woohoo! For some reason that is strong. Wow. All right. <laughs> that is really strong. I only put four scoops in there. Why is that so strong? Wow. All right. Nice. All right, guys. Well, that's going to be it for that experiment for today. It was a failure. We didn't have any catastrophic, catastrophic failures or anything like that. Um, but it's definitely not ideal to run 600 watts worth, or I think it's 650 for this guy, actually. 650 watts of power through a 400-watt inverter. It'll do it for a little bit, but not for too long, unfortunately. Um, I was kind of hoping maybe I could get something out of that, but I guess not. I'll keep using my single cup coffee maker for the solar anyway. Anyway, guys, that's going to be it for today. Thanks so much for watching. Um, you guys have any comments, suggestions, or criticism for the video, let me know. Um, I'll try to answer every single comment that comes through. Anyway, I'll see you guys in the next one. This is Tailsverse signing off. Have a wonderful day, everyone. Bye-bye.